All right, we're back. Back in the saddle. Can't go in there. What's here? Oh, I already did that. Well. Played yourself. <sighs> always. I'm always playing <laughs> myself. It's well. dried up. You need to fix it before the old twig pants inside the plant has a shit fit. Old twig pants? Twig pants? <laughs> before he has a shit fit. Shit fit. Blam, blam. Hello. Google? Do those computers run Google? It looks like it's only that one screen. Oh, you're in it. You're in it. <laughs> yeah, I was I was in it. All right, can you guys- Can your leg get stuck in the computer? Just embarrassing. Sorry you had to see that, guys. <laughs> and then, like, some that are aggressive and some that are just hanging out. Maybe they don't want to be on the job. <laughs> Didn't get hired for the aggressive position. Reluctant foot soldiers. Aren't we done? No. Enough. Dead. Dead, 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 dead. Must go higher. Block. Yeah. They're like levels, right? Did I, is there one on the bottom? Yeah. There's gotta be. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Coming up the cylinder. Um, oh hello? yeah, so that. Oh, what? Okay. When a rocket just shows up behind you. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna shut that. We're gonna, we're gonna shut the door on that one. We're just gonna have a little quiet moment to ourselves for a minute. Quiet Jesse time. All right. I think I'm good. Regrouped. Okay, we got level two. So that first shelter that we opened with Emily. I feel like that had more than six people. I only saw her and like two other people come out, right? It was her and then you got two people up on the balcony. You have two people down by the cleanse point, the control point. No, we won't blow up. Um let's go lift the lockdown. Maybe that is it. There was a single guy at the very top just chilling. Yeah. 
maybe it, it was exactly sick. Look at this, look at this guy, just like- No, 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 back! He's going! <laughs> I got this, guys! Alright, so... There was anything else back there, was there? Any notes in there? I didn't see any. It's that looks like such a note spot, you know. Yeah. That's not. Maybe they just expect you to run through this place, willy nilly. <laughs> All right. Maybe we can go it's fix. Not the kind of gamers playing this game. <laughs> it might be. There are some. I feel like, if you're gonna play this, you need to look in every corner. <laughs> this isn't loading. Find every tidbit. Oh yeah, look at that! Oh! Electricity level. Water level. We must have a little teardrop so that we know it's water. Upcoming game reminder. Next game is Wednesday at 8. Usual spot. Hazard owes me twenty dollars. Arish still on a fucking winning streak. Someone please figure out how he's cheating. Thompson <laughs> suspended for a game because of that shady dealing incident. Guy, I owe you sixty dollars. I brought beers last time, so it's Hepston Stall's turn. R Ramus, Remus. Remus, Remus, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Remus Lupin. Um. Hmm? Are they playing like poker? I'm assuming. They're owing money. They're playing checkers. Checkers? <laughs> We're betting on checkers. <laughs> There's no. Uh, what? Nothing like having a game of checkers with your rival. With tension. Ooh, checker tension. <laughs> Hello, sir? Look at all this, uh... This... Heck. In here. Looks like a... Base... Station. Control board. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I love this huge wire just going throughout the entire room. They're nothing but sticklers for work safety. <laughs> yeah. We put our employees' safety in the highest regard. That's why most of them are dead. NSC control room. Forces contain the lockdown. All right, we got two of these now. Only be lifted by a directorial override. Okay. This is what we came here to do. I'll we'll look at those now. Well, should we look at the other one still, or should we wait on the other one? What are we talking about here? The Northmore one. Well, I was that just, we didn't watch. I was gonna look at them all. Look at them both now. Internal lockdown. Northmore. Alright, so we'll look at the internal. I think that's all we have. Yeah, okay, so the Northmore one was first. Mm hmm. North Moore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. North Moore was all about the power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end. 
contain the situation. Northmoor never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmoor. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot to unpack. He didn't even didn't want the, the job. job. He just was like... <laughs> didn't like... The last director. Director didn't like him. <laughs> like, didn't want there was no one else, but I was there. So I had to take the job. And also, <laughs> I was the only one with a plan for what to do with whatever happened in Northmoor. Uh. So, we're starting off strong with his... So, I'm the person that doesn't want this, but I'm also the only one with a plan. Uh, uh, <laughs> recipe for... Great outcomes. Destruction. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility. The privilege to steer the bureau into the responsibility, wars, and I picked it up on a dare to inspire and lead its people to protect them. The board is there to advise you, but they want things in return. You hold all this in your old, trembling hands. I had to lose everything before I could see the bureau is the director's life. There's no room for anything else. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition, terror, death. Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. Any emergency, any major containment breach, and the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override, only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me, and me alone. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> That's like all I can say. Yeah, genuinely. I didn't realize my TV was up so you could hear it. Whoopsie. <laughs> Um, the board countermeasures isn't important because it's more about a game thing where you just do missions that can pop up randomly around the oldest house. Honestly, I didn't do- I did a couple of them, and then I was like, nah. <laughs> I don't really feel like I need to do this. It's literally the last trophy I need. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and then I have not, the game 100 percent but I was like, I'm not doing this. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, most of the time it just, uh, makes me jump <laughs> when the notification comes up on the screen. Yeah, when I'm minding my own business, doing other stuff, and it's just like, eh. Yeah, it'll make, like, an alarm sound. All of the shapes. Fitting.
like that. That's the Panopticon, That's it? right? Yeah, there's actually yeah, a lot of them. That feels like an I impossible space. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. <laughs> building. I'll, I'll risk it. it. You two should, should get to know each other. Oh. So whatever's in her head when it talks, I guess to her is when it shows up on the screen. The little blue things. The little blue thing? Yeah, like the little kaleidoscope thing. When it talks back to her, it comes yeah. on the screen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Is, were there any notes in here? I doubt it. There's like another note place, but I guess that's every room. <laughs> Feels like a note place. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, there's literally paper strewn about. Seems to just be the general look of the place. Yeah. Alright, I'm back here. I have level 2 access, right? We've leveled up. Book Club, Lopez. <laughs> what is that poster say? Uh, unless you. Review by Captain Lopez. These days, most YA novels intertwine the coming-of-age story with either a contrived dystopian setting or a tragic romance. Unless you manage to do both. In the story, the protagonist and her love interest search for a cure to a virus called The Fix, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world. To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous, uncharted territories. The people all live in walled cities now because of the dystopian future. And the long way, along the way, they just have to fall in love. I liked how we never get to know if the fix was ever actually fixed. The ending was bold, especially for YA. The main character succumbs to the fix when she's so close to the cure and commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows this is the end for her, but that the job can still get done. She dies out in the unknown, alone, and surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the goal. That's a good soldier's death. I give the book 3 out of 5. I feel most of the teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I'd recommend it to my brother's kids. Um. A teen. Just, just despise a teen. <laughs> A teen? A teen. You despise a teen. That teen angst. The teenage angst is lost on me. <laughs> Completely lost. Yeah. Oh, we got another one. I don't know if I read it. Did we read it? Oh, I don't know. Hello, avid readers. I don't think so. The Bureau Book Bunch will convene at the usual spot in the corner table of the cafeteria at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Mm -hmm. e everyone should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation stars before the meeting. Happy reading, Penny Bartwell. Bartwell. I think there's five of those notes total. I'll see if I can get all of them. We love a book club. You wanted to see what these posters said? I did, but the the texture. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You so get you gotta get up. Out shifts. Do not count towards overtime. Oh yeah, we didn't we see this earlier. Yeah, we did. We saw these. Yeah. Back to central. We're going in the the elevator, right? That opened up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Research? Are we going to research? We're going back to executive. Oh, uh, okay. For Emily. Wife. Do -do -do -do.
Shit. So we got launch. We've got evade. Yeah. And that's all we have so far. What else are the, uh... Hmm. Speak with her. I crave one last... One of the powers more than the rest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. Nothing suspicious about this jute box that's... <laughs> Nothing at all. ...in here alone. Specific lighting just for it. Contain. It's fine. Hope says setting these things up may help, but I don't even know what I'm doing. She should find some maintenance grunt to do this. Yeah. I don't know. I see that. Is that person just staring at the wall? He might be. What is- He's just- He's he, just- He's reading he's things. With the he's figuring things out. Yeah. Jesse, you Emily, made it. Emily, and you Emily. lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Yes, yes of course. course. Listen, Emily. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. Aw, shit, dude. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's, That's all she all gets. gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. No fun, Jesse. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways... were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No, no one, one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. And the case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Tell me my readings. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But 
one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attack. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. <gasps> Level three. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Okay, but that it? shot of Emily is kind of spooky. Something's coming. It is a little... A little spooky. Be they turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes... I will come call you. Ominous. Yeah, very ominous. It almost looks like the the way Emily turns towards the camera, it's like you're the monster creeping up on her. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or it kind of to me felt like she was the monster. <laughs> Oh no! That's just not like Emily. just like the lighting of it, and how she turns yeah. around really fast and looks at you. <laughs> something, something about it's a little spooky to me. Yes. Find Marshall in research and parapsychology. Hope has asked us to document the history. Now we're going to. Incantation, she calls it. You mean like in. I have 13 ability points, guys. <laughs> Time to buy some abilities. Heck yeah. This should be thrilling. Yay, I got an additional weapon slot. Menus! <laughs> yeah! It's the menu game. It's just part of video games. Just gotta upgrade. I am becoming stronger. More power. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't Control know. person with a pencil. Everything, Jesse. Does it, Virgil? <laughs> Ooh, I need this. Yeah. Go on paper. I think she's trying to get What outfits do I have right now? Oh, you guys gonna get silent? Urban response. I don't like the astral dive one. It's killed. A lot of these questions could be answered. Yeah, that's from that one. I think it's cool. Oh, I think it's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Discussing. I forgot how to switch guns. Maybe we don't have the proper facilities. Maybe we can bring oh, that's a mood. I don't remember. All right, we'll figure it out later. <laughs> I have level three, I can go in here. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? The America Overnight Program. You wanna read this? The stream has actually frozen for me. Okay, we love that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll read it then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the American Overnight Program. Summary. The American Overnight Program has operated successfully for over redacted years. Originally designed to assist in providing disinformation to the naturally skeptical population of America, 
It has additionally led to the discovery of numerous AWEs and altered materials by allowing civilians to call in and report their experience with the paranatural. In fact, America overnight alerted the Bureau of Redacted and Redacted in its first year of operation alone. In this report, the investigation sector have cataloged and categorized each episode of America Overnight that has resulted in a successful Bureau investigation in order to help AWE occurrence analysis. The more blank results of Night Springs, Night Springs have also been cataloged in a separate report. Refer to file redacted for full report. Overnight, like a spe- about a specific town. Uh, no, the the name of it is, like, America Overnight. Right, but the story- so the stories from it are just people calling into the radio. Yeah, basically. I think- It's in Alan Wake? Oh, yeah? I think? I could be wrong. I remember there being some sort of- Maybe it was a TV show? I don't remember. Something similar. Yeah. Maybe. Did it further connection to Alan Wake? Can you? Did it not for? Is it done freezing? It's done. It's done freezing. It got over its um. Cold spout. All right. Cool. Peek behind the curtain, and also, <laughs> where I will end this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>